This is Donington Park Circuit. It is the oldest motorsport circuit in UK that is still in operation. It was first used for motorsport purposes in 1931. So the history of this track is really rich and now it hosts many different national and international racing events. And now I am really happy to have opportunity to drive on this track for the first time. Unfortunately weather is not so nice today. It's cold, grey and rainy. So, while we wait the track to dry out a little bit, let me tell you about the today's event. It's a Genetta track day. If you don't know, Genetta is a British company that is engineering and manufacturing race cars from rather simple ones that you can drive on track or common road, they are road legal, to top LMP prototypes. And they run several really competitive single make championships as well. And because it's a Genetta's track day, so no other cars will be on track. And I'm going to test their G40 model. It's rather simple and straightforward race car, I would say. It's not very powerful, it has only 135 bhp per weight of around 840 kilos, but it handles like a race car and equipped with everything proper race car needs. There are not many other cars where you can find roll cage, air conditioning and telemetry pre-installed at the same time. And there are other, more serious cars here as well, for example like this G55 model, it's a proper race tool with more than 350 bhp per ton and all race car attributes like for example pedal shift gearbox, dry sump, motec, air jacks, etc. You can find these cars in many local and international endurance and GT4 events. Or this LMP3 prototype which is made from carbon fiber and incredibly powerful and fast with highly developed aero with 5 liter Nissan engine with around 500 horsepower. Okay, enough talk. It's getting drier, so we are about to begin. The grip is still quite low, so drivers tend to follow wet lines, but racing is fun in any weather, agree?
So, what can I say about this car? It's really fun to drive, it feels and handles like a proper race car, it's relatively inexpensive to buy and run it, if you just come to racing it's a nice car to start. It will teach you how to feel the balance, how to find the grip, how to follow racing lines, etc. It's a bit underpowered as for me, which is nice to start, but I would like to have more options before next season starts, so I am going to try something more powerful. So don't miss my next video, it will be something really different.